Hello, I hope you are enjoying this series because today we are on to Silver Bells. This has been so much fun for me. Last year I didn't do nails at Christmas because they all broke just like they did this year. But no, this year we're doing it. I'm going to start out with Shockwave from I Love Nail Polish and we are going to stamp the Silver Bells with Pewter from Maniology. I wanted to take just a little time and kind of talk to you about the I Love Nail Polish line. I've bought several collections from them now and quite a few individual polishes. And so I think it's fair to officially say that I love this brand. I think they are so pretty and I think they come out with so many unique polishes. Say that to say, the one downside would be, I do feel like sometimes within the collections, they send out several colors that are similar that don't need to be. Like it might be a cool tone version over a warm tone version, or they'll both be in there, one cool, one warm. And so I wish, you know, a little bit every once in a while, they didn't quite do that as often. But the last three, I have noticed that, where there are colors that are similar in tone. They almost all have a beautiful holographic in them, or at least the ones that I own. <laughs> And this particular one, this is called Shockwave, it is a holographic polish that's also a multi-chrome shift. So it shifts from a very teal to a medium to a deep purpley blue. And you'll be able to see the full shift at the end of the video. I tried out a new background and it's acting up just a little bit color-wise. Um, I had a lot of fun playing with the new background, but I think there's going to be some learning curve there. But I'm always trying to make my videos look better and nicer for you. So now that we are on to stamping, the first thing we're going to do is grab these. I'm going to use two of these little stamps and these are kind of like corner stamps where you can use them close to your cuticle or right on the end of the nail just for a little zing on the end. So what I'm going to do is stamp one on each, the thumb and the pinky facing inward. So it's kind of like bookends to the manicure. I thought it came out pretty cute. The bell on this is kind of a little... Eh, hidden almost by the foliage and things on there and y'all my cat is making noise in the background i'm gonna eat him if he doesn't stop <laughs> so i've recorded this a couple times i'm not gonna do it again because of him so if you hear weird banging noises it's the cat um <laughs> so this is the other bookend Oh no, I'm sorry. Now we've moved on. We're doing this image. There wasn't really anything in my collection that I had that covered the whole nail with just bells. So I wanted to just kind of go through and individually stamp a few of these down a nail so it would be a full nail. I don't know. I know I mentioned this recently, but just a refresher. If you're not sure um, what images are on what plates with Maniology, you can just type that certain word in and it will pull up every plate that has that on there. So if you type in bells, it will show you every plate that has a bell on it that Maniology has. So if you know what's in your own collection, that's a good way to search for ideas without having to dig through everything and find everything. Speaking of, I really need to reorganize my plate binder. If that's something you're interested in seeing how I do, let me know and I might film that for you. It's going to be a mess. <laughs> it is going to be such a mess. Okay, so I did use the bigger image and I only did it on the center of the nail. And I tried to keep the other other ornaments and things off as much as I could because I really just wanted this to be about the bell. And then I grabbed the other little bell and put it near the tip of the ring finger. That one to me, I'm sorry, it just looks like a wedding bell. I don't love that particular design for this, but it was a bell. It's what I had. That's what I used. If I had it to do over again though, not so much for Christmas nails, most definitely for wedding nails. Hey, and speaking of this new background, if any of you film videos, I found a cool trick. If you leave your paper that has glitter all over it, <laughs> inside the glitter package, like where if it's clear and you can see through it, you can film and you can't see it. Like if I didn't tell y'all, you wouldn't know that was still in the plastic wrap. But it is, and I don't have glitter all over my arm. It's pretty awesome. That's what happened last time. I had glitter everywhere for days and days. So it's kind of cool I can leave it in the package and still film. Anyway, let me know what you think of these different backgrounds. I've got a couple videos coming up with some different backgrounds. If you like them, I might keep doing it. If you don't, I'll get rid of them. We are going to use just a very thin layer of top coat and put down some of these stones. These are just acrylic stones, but you could use for Savartsky, whatever. We don't need to learn their name because they're not going to sell to nail techs anymore anyway. Um, they're cutting off that division, so no more costume jewelry, um, stones, and crystals. They're not doing it. 
Now if you look here, you can see the full shift all the way from the lighter, a kind of a teal blue at the bottom, gets deeper in the middle and then switches into that deep blue purple. These are so stunning in person. And if you don't have this polish, this is one I would say, go get it, you need it. It's unique, it's very unique. Thank you so much for watching. Let me know what you think below. And if you have any questions, you can drop those below too, and I will be happy to answer them for you. You can click in the upper right hand corner now if you want to watch another video. Thank you. Bye bye.